Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I cut my hair without messing it up. And as you can see, I start with poker straight hair. I just find that this makes the whole process much easier and I can see what I am doing. And here I am just sectioning my hair. So I basically create a section from the tops of my ears all the way to the back of my head. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it just means that I've got a smaller section of hair to work with. And then I just put the rest of the hair up in a bit of a top knot to keep it out of the way. Now I'm not a professional hairdresser and I've had no training as you will see, but this method works really well for me. And certainly if you've got hair that is all the one length, it will work well for you too. So to start off, I just bring those two back layers to the front and I use elastic bands just to hold them in place and to also make sure that that first cut I make is even. You'll see what I mean by that in a few seconds. This method's really helpful if you're actually cutting quite a bit off your hair. Today, I'm just giving my hair a little bit of a trim and cutting off the loose ends. But this method gives you a guide to see exactly where you need to cut. So if you were cutting quite a bit off your hair, you would cut above where the bands are. But because I was really just giving them a trim, I just wanted to take off those um, dead ends. And it was a little difficult today because I was just using the little viewfinder in the camera and I didn't actually have a mirror. So it was a bit tricky to see if I was actually cutting things straight. But what I do tend to do to check is just pull those sections to the front and you can really measure closely and see whether you have got them even. And then I just take another section and this time I basically take a section about a couple of inches above my ears and then just put the rest up again. Then all I'm doing is grabbing a section and using that first cut as a guide to how much to take off. And I trim on a slight angle and this means that I end up with a blunt cut without it being sort of shaped or angled when it's finished. And then I just continue with these sections and make sure that I grab a little piece of the previous section and use that as a guide. And yes, pull down pieces to measure them and make sure that it is all even. And then it's time to take down that final section and then just repeat the process. And it's really easy because you can see that previous layer and where you need to cut. Yeah, I find these longer bits at the front much easier to cut too because you don't really have to rely on the mirror to do it. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect at this stage. I will go along at the end and use the point of the scissors to just chop into the hair a little bit and make it a little less blunt. So that tends to disguise a whole lot of uneven lines. The front of your hair is the easiest to do because it's the longest and you don't need a mirror. And then I like to just add a little bit of layering just through that very front section, just so that it's not such a hard edge at the front. So I do the same thing to both sides and just use the point of the scissors to sort of chop up into it so that you are really cutting the hair on an angle and just taking away some of that weight at the very front of your hair. And now's a good time just to check for any uneven layers and go through and trim them up and just tidy it up and make sure everything is looking even. And then lastly, I take the points of the scissors and just sort of gently chop up into the hair. And this just takes some of the weight and the bluntness 
away from the very ends of your hair. And there's no real system to this, I just grab sections and gently cut up into the hair, pretty much just using the points of the scissors. Most professional hairdressers would probably have a heart attack if they saw the way that I cut my hair, but it actually works for me and I just find it really convenient. Not to mention it saves a whole lot of cash and time, so that works for me as well. So that's it really, it's pretty quick and easy and it just means that I can cut my hair whenever I feel that it needs it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did I would love you to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more. Look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.